is absolutely impossible for life to have evolved without an intelligent designer. Now, when you have someone who's not very skilled at constructing things, it takes them a long time to build something, doesn't it? And contrarily, if you have someone who's really skilled and really knowledgeable, they can build something very quickly. So, in the case of creation, you have an all-knowing, all-powerful, all-wise, all-intelligent creator. Contrast that with evolution, which has no skill, no intelligence, no guidance whatsoever. Now let's take a look at life. Life is assembled from amino acids. There's roughly 20 amino acids to choose from. These 20 different kinds of amino acids join together end-to-end -to, -end to make proteins. Proteins join together to make the components of life. This is like Lego. You can assemble them, but they need to be assembled together in a very specific way in order to make life. Like amino acids, if you have 20 different Lego pieces to choose from, and you assemble two of them together, you can assemble up to 400 different combinations. That's 20 times 20. If you have three of them together, you can make up to 8,000 combinations. That's 20 times 20 times 20. Go to four, you can have 160,000. 20 times 20 times 20 times 20. So now we come to amino acids. Sir Francis Crick was credited with the co-discovery of the helical spiral of the DNA. Now he did the math once, calculating that the different combinations you can get from a mere protein only 200 amino acids long. So if you take 200 amino acids and join them together, you can get up to 10 to the power of 260 different combinations. That's 10 followed by 260 zeros. That's a big number. Now, according to evolutionary dogma, there has only been 20 billion years in the universe. That works out to 630 quintillion 720 trillion seconds in 20 billion years. So we only have 630 quintillion 720 trillion seconds to try all of the combinations. So dividing 630 quintillion 720 trillion into 10 to the power of 260, you get 1.585 times 10 to the power of 243 different combinations to try every second for 20 billion years. Even if you had all the proteins, what process is going to try all those combinations in 20 billion years? What processes are going to preserve the correct sequence that you got so far? Is this going to last for 20 billion years? I know of no protein that's going to last for 20 billion years. This is to assemble one protein. You know how many proteins you ate for breakfast this morning? 165,395. 165,396, 165,397. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Evolution doesn't require 20 billion years. Evolution requires an infinite amount of time. It's obvious that there was an intelligent creator involved in the origin of life. And it wasn't aliens, because even natural beings do not have the time or ability to sit there and assemble the proteins for life. And it only brings up the question, where did the aliens come from? It's clear that the creator was a supernatural being. And may I suggest to you that that creator was none other than Jesus Christ, named by name in John chapter 1, verse 3 in the Bible. This creator then created a body to sacrifice in place of you and I, that we may live with him forever, to pay for the penalty for our sins and our disobedience towards him. That's why his death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead was so important. And hopefully some of you watching this video will take the time to seek him while he may be found.